So I had the itch for some more small creek fishing with my new 2 weight rod. However, there was a fire north of Durango during the filming and editing of this video. It closed down the main highway that takes me to many of my favorite small creeks. So I decided to try a few others that many people have suggested to me. If you guys remember, I came here last year when I went camping down at Vallecito Lake. But the water flows were much higher last year, so I wasn't really sure if there would be many fish. But of course I tried it anyway. That there was below the bridge, but once you cross the bridge, you need to sign in. Now the heavy brush and low creek flows made fishing tough. The spot here was filled above the logs last year. So the flows were low and there were no fish. Also, I was starting to get bit by mosquitoes. So I decided to make my way back to my car and drive to another spot. After about a 45 minute drive, I arrived here. Sorry though guys, I'm not gonna name the creek. These small creeks with wild fish are not places I want the world to know about. But if you live in this area, you probably know about this creek. So as I approached the creek, I moved very slowly and decided to make a few casts further back in order not to spook the fish. By the way guys, I will list all the gear I used on this trip in the description section. And finally a hookup. I mean, did you see that fish thrash the top after my dry fly? Okay, back to fighting this fish. Boy, he was pulling really hard, and this little two weight was bent pretty good. Ah, that's why. I foul hooked him. Sorry, little guy. What a beautiful fish, though. By the way, I'm using my stimulator styled caddis and my mini me hopper for an indicator type fly. Okay, back to fishing the same spot. Maybe there's another one hiding under the street. Well, he wasn't under the tree, but I did find another fish. These guys are good little fighters here. By the way guys, please wet your hands before handling any fish, and when wearing gloves, make sure they're made for fly fishing, as those kind will not take off as much of the protective slime on the fish. Okay, now to find other spots on the creek. Oh, there's one. Another spunky fighter. Oh man, I foul hooked another. Okay, I'm gonna switch down to just one fly now to see if that helps stop the foul hook issue. <laughs> Oops, I tripped. 
so I keep walking upstream and search for more fish. And I make casts along this creek to probably 15 or more spots, but I couldn't seem to find any more fish. Then I came here. And I had an explosive take on my fly. However, I think I set the hook a little too hard and broke my fly off. Oh well. Then I came up to this spot, and I thought I was already filming. So sorry guys, you didn't get to see the take. This was a really nice little brookie, and it was a good fight. But you guys only saw the tail end of this action here. Another nice fish. Well, it was nearing 2 o'clock, and I had a bit of a walk back to my car. Then I had a bit of a drive back home. So I decided it was time to start making my way back. But I wasn't going to forget to stop and see the beauty along the way. This, by the way, is a columbine flower. It's Colorado's state flower, and they grow wild here. It's so beautiful. Of course, I had to stop back at that one spot I caught the first fish before jumping into my car. But I had no luck. While these little creeks don't usually hold monster fish, there is something majestic about fishing for these little beauties, with light gear and dry flies, which is almost more rewarding than powering in a 25-inch monster on the San Juan. Maybe you agree. Well, thanks guys for coming along with me on another one of my fishing trips. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. By the way, you can help support this channel by picking up one of my fly boxes. This box is one of my favorites for small nymphs and dries. I will put a link in the description section to where you can purchase this. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.